Good morning, Planet Chinchilla fans. I am coming to you with another quick video today. A um, couple updates as well. First thing is, if you are a visitor frequently on PlanetChinchilla.com, um, from here on out on the blog post, um, instead of just answering the questions in a written format, I am going to begin um, also making a quick video for you guys. Um, it seems to resonate with some of the audience a little bit better based on the comments I'm getting, so that is a new thing. Um, it's about eight days till Christmas right now, so obviously don't expect anything crazy here in the next week or so, but we're going to try and do this daily. Um, and I'm using forums, um, anything like Quora, Facebook communities that I'm in for other chinchilla owners. Um, that's where I'm getting a lot of these questions that I answer for you guys about owning these <laughs> chinchillas and how to ethically take care of them and all of the off-the-wall questions that come in between. Um, today's video is specifically focused on if chinchillas are hard to take care of, which I think is one of the most important videos, I mean, in general, because it's gonna prevent people from adopting one if they think that, you know, these guys are this crazy workload to take care of. And the biggest thing I can tell you right off the bat before I dive into the specifics is, it's one of the easiest pets you're ever gonna own. Um, even if you have kids, I have a three-year-old. Actually, he turns three years old today. He's just still in bed sleeping in um, for his birthday. So I figured I'd get this video out. But if I got a three-year-old and they can interact with each other, surely you can do the same. Um, I'll cover a couple of the key tips on what makes these guys so easy to take care of. And um, in the meantime, if you see on the screen here, depending if you're on YouTube or on the blog, um, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, click below the bell you know all of the bells and whistles down there for the youtube subscribe you know, show a little love for the channel um, it kind of keeps me motivated i'm obviously not the best on camera compared to all the other youtube gurus i will try and get better for you guys as we go but let's go ahead and dive into the details here about taking care of these guys if you see me look down or change the camera view i apologize too i'm still getting used to um, these cameras in general and how to navigate but let's start with just if you adopt one of these guys how easy it is to set up a room for um, them they don't need anything special minus um, climate control so you need to be between about 65 and 70 is fine but the humidity does need to be low so I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera and show you the room that my chinchilla is in it is just a basement it is nothing crazy um, the hard floors are a huge plus um, because these guys do poop non-stop so I've got these hard floors with just a textured paint on them um, in case you guys don't know they can jump very high that is not a challenge for a chinchilla to get up on any of these shelves or ledges but this is it um, for the most part this is considered chinchilla proofed as well minus any cords like for the lighting over here you'll see a couple of cords straight down there that needs to be protected that's one of the reasons you see this big animal playpen here I use that if I don't have time to bury her off anything I'll use that to let her come out and take her dust bath but you can see I mean I just have a setup right down there for her but anything you can do to um, contain so for example this door here leads into the rest of my basement which is gradually getting more and more unsafe the further you go into the basement for her you're getting into the electrical for the laundry over there so this doorway here would need to be blocked off and I have a, just a little baby gate that I use it works fine you just have to make sure it's tall enough because of how high these guys can jump and you'll be in good shape outside of that the other big factors with taking care of these guys um, price is a question that comes up a lot these guys are as cheap as it gets especially go over to my blog blog post sorry I can't speak this morning about these fleece liners that you see in here these basically eliminate the need to ever buy bedding again if you do it correctly and I went through basically it's not in here right now because I've been cleaning up the cage but if you buy a litter pan and teach them to urinate in those it just gets easier outside of that you're looking at like maybe 20 to 30 bucks a month to take care of these guys you got pellets you need and you got Timothy hay um, obviously make sure the pellets are the correct pellets do not be feeding them the junk from like Petco um, that just has a picture of a chinchilla on it that does not mean by any stretch that it's safe so do not do that 
Um, the next one is getting these guys out. I mean, is it difficult? No. Um, just like I just said, you just have to keep them safe. Make sure the cords are protected. Don't have a ton of cords. Down here, you'll see it's pretty safe. I've got it all pretty much wrapped up. There's a cell phone charger on top of the couch cushion over there. Uh, that's about the only cord minus my lighting down here in this basement. Um, they don't get sick very often when they do. It can be a pain. I actually haven't had to deal with it in the first couple of years, but I do know just from interacting with a bunch of other chinchilla owners that when they do get sick, it can be kind of a pain in the butt just because it's typically a, a dental issue or some kind of infection. And you can avoid a lot of that just with some basic, sorry for the camera flip there, basic stuff like chewing sticks, making sure they're filing their teeth, etc. Um, I mean, you can leave these guys for a day if you need to, as long as they have plenty of water. Um, like I said, cheap and they're clean. They don't really smell. I mean, obviously these fleece liners here, let me open up this door again for you, those of you who haven't seen these. These need to be cleaned up. These pop right off wash in cold water good to go if they pee on these instead of a like a litter pan that's going to start to stink after a while so you're gonna have to do your diligence keeping that clean outside of that you've got no odor with these guys minimal shedding um, it's just an easy easy animal to have um, they're entertaining too which makes it all the better obviously but in general I mean you spend the money on the cage like this critter nation cage here is a couple hundred bucks but it's huge um, you take out that insert there and you've got a four level cage for these guys because they love to jump and climb. But as far as them being hard to take care of, no, chinchillas are definitely not hard to take care of, in my opinion. Maybe in the beginning you've got some anxieties and stresses about it, but outside of that it's kind of just fun getting new ledges, new toys, new accessories, and having a blast with these guys. Um, yeah, you got to clean the cage. Yes, you have to get them out. Um, that kind of thing i mean i know that there's probably people who don't get these guys out for playtime which is it is what it is i'm not going to make a video about bashing people who just keep them in a cage that's not what this website entails or what it's about but you know it happens and that's fine i mean outside of that i mean you're not looking at a whole lot these guys sleep <laughs> i mean 20 hours a day they're crespular so they're you know they're awake at the most active at dusk and dawn or with the light cycles but in general if you guys are thinking about getting one of these guys um, I mean I highly recommend it there's tons of breeders that you can go to to get you one of these guys tons of them um, I actually have a post if you want to go to it to find out if you just type in best chinchilla breeders it'll pop up like number three um, and I have an entire list that you guys can just go through It'll break down every breeder in your state if you're trying to look for one right now. Um, it's planetchinchilla.com when you see it in the Google results. I think it's like number three. And then, you know, if you're watching this right now on the blog, feel free to navigate around and go to my other post. I think there's like 130 on there in depth about taking care of these guys. Um, I think my the website in general will basically give you everything you need to know from A to Z. And again, that's at planetchinchilla.com. If you're already on the blog, if you want to go to the YouTube channel, it's just Planet Chinchilla. Um, that's it. I mean, I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware that these guys are not difficult to take care of. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I'll try and start making these videos a little bit better. Um, make sure you like, drop a comment below, do your thing. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. If you want to see some crazy dust baths, um, her jumping off the wall onto those shelves I showed you a few minutes ago, I'm happy to do that. I just need to know what you guys want. Um, the video is a new addition to Planet Chinchilla, so if I don't know what you want, I'm just going to make a bunch of stuff, and likely it's not the stuff you want. So let me know in the comments. Uh, feel free to comment on the website. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell so you get notified the next time I make a video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.